What's going on, everybody? And welcome to part 12 of my playthrough for Star Wars Battlefront 2. In the last episode, we visited our homeworld of Kamino, completely stopped our evil twin brothers, and in this episode, we'll be in our first prison break on the Death Star. Once it was finally finished, the Death Star was the Emperor's favorite toy. It was also the most boring assignment in the galaxy for a stormtrooper. Tedious inspection drills, endless hours of guarding impregnable force field generators. Things got so bad that when a prison break erupted in the cell block, we were almost happy to have someone shooting at us again. If only we'd known what an embarrassing snipe storm we were about to wade into. We probably would have jettisoned the whole detention block into space. <laughs> I like that uh, point of view from the troopers, like that humor. I, I don't know. I just dig that. But, uh, so in this one, rightfully titled Prison Break, we uh, actually, first I just want to say this room, very reminiscent of the room in uh, Star Wars A New Hope. Just, just say it. But uh, I, I like this mission because it's like, I, I don't know why, it's, it's kind of like, almost like, can tie into the movies. Well, most of these missions do, but, uh, this one, I, I just I just enjoyed the whole layout of the station here. Now, this mission, uh, there's two ways the Rebels can come in. They're all just coming out of nowhere, just out of the woodwork. And there's two ways they can come in. They come through this door and that door. Really, I recommend watching this door because all of your guys will stay in the room pretty much. And they can pretty much handle the guys coming out of the other door. Most of the troops will come through this door. What I recommend doing is, if you can, uh, definitely don't get hit by grenades. Blow up these guys. I have really low health. If you do have low health like me, there is a uh, droid back in the other room that can regain your health. And I cannot believe he's walking in front of me. That's a fail. Man, in my practice run of this, I didn't die once. I mean, I was doing good. But I guess because he was blocking some of my shots, I was get hit. I got hit. What you don't want them to do is make their way in here, because that's bad. And you always want to kill the Wookiees first. My mistake. Ah! But, uh, yeah. God! Well, last time they were doing really good. This time they're not doing so good. If you're really having trouble, I guess you could kind of hang back here and just, you know, try to force them out, stay near the medical droid. But what I was going to suggest is to fight your way through here. Wow, there are so many more than last time. To fight your way through here, fight your way up to those boxes, <laughs> and once you're there, just crouch, and as they come through the door, they won't be able to hit you, like I'm about to demonstrate right here. They actually won't really be able to hit you here. The grenades won't be able to get to you. They won't... Well, they can't hurt you, but it's it doesn't usually happen. That's just what I recommend. Not that this is really a difficult part. None of this game is in particularly hard. You don't usually fail, unlike me. Like I said, medical droid. They will come through this way, but it's usually not a problem. There, last time there weren't as many Wookies. I guess it just pick of the draw. Oh God, where'd they all come from? Wookie, get the Wookie. Ah, uh, I shot my own guy because they keep doing that, huh? They keep getting in front. Anyways, the time thing, so once it's done, it's done. And that's kind of the hardest part of the entire level right there. From here on, it's kind of like you were on the defense, now you're actually pushing back. You can just come out here, this is kind of cool. It never ends. It goes on forever. Don't fall. Uh, and you, like, fight your way back, and you, like, take the cell block back, and I'm a one-man army here, because my team is nowhere to be found. <laughs> Our millions of troopers. And it makes you wonder, where did all of these... I mean, I know they were in, like, cells, like, detention blocks, but... They really all came out of detention blocks, and where did they all get guns? I mean, not just one kind of gun either. Like, we got Wookiees in here, and we got guys with, uh, you know, machine guns, assault rifles. Like, where did they get all the guns? Did we just leave them laying around? Oh, and this is kind of cool, but ultimately, if you could sight this guy like I did, pointless. He steals, like, you know, plans, which is kind of like a hint to the movie again. But uh, if you just kill that guy, grab him and run, <laughs> it's not even a challenge. If you let him go, though, he will start running away, and it can get difficult because hordes of enemies just keep coming, and your guys, you know, don't help out, ever. But just bring him back here, easy and done. But I like that. I like having, like, objectives to kill, objectives to defend, objectives to retrieve. It's something I really like about this game and how it, like, always does that with the missions. Uh, all of my guys are in the way, and I can't get a clean shot! Oh, my teammates are like maggots for my bullets. And uh, yeah, I, I definitely say the Wookiees are the uh, biggest threat. 
As long as you keep strafing, ah, uh, strafing, strafing, is that the, I can't say it right because I've been sick lately. If long as you keep strafing and your teammates don't get in the way, oh, whatever, you, you probably won't get hit most of the time. And this is kind of fun to do. Yoink. Yoink. Eep. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I really like jumping back and forth to these. It's actually quicker to move, and looks cool too. And there are no health droids here, so if you want a health droid, you got to go back to the uh, big room with the hole in it. Also, this is kind of cool. You can break this bridge. If I can... Yeah, you can actually break it. It's cool in multiplayer, because the only way to get over it, I think, is to get a running jump start, or to obviously fly over it with a jetpack. And I also like this room, too. It's like they kind of captured, even as small as this is compared to the, you know, the Death Star, they kind of captured the essence in this room, I think. I mean, not just this room, but in this level. Like, you got the command firing room, you got the shuttle space, you got the room that looked a lot like that room I mentioned in the beginning from Episode 4. And even this, if you wait long enough, this will actually fire, which is cool. And if you're having trouble in this particular spot, since there's no cover, just keep moving and keep throwing grenades that you're standing right next to a resupply bot. Or the, I'm sure they have an official name, but they resupply grenades and ammo. You can just keep tossing them and forget. Unless you get hit from behind, because your team isn't here. <laughs> but once you capture this, you're already like almost done with the level. Well, let's watch this thing fire. Oh, that was it. I remember it being a lot cooler than that. But I had a big imagination when I was a kid. And I still kind of do. Probably not as big, though. And this this is arguably the hardest part of the level. Payback. Due to the fact that you're on a, uh... Well, granted, it's a gracious time limit, but you are on a time limit to get to the other side of the entire map. And to... Let's kill Wookiees. Always kill Wookiees. I should keep a Wookiee kill count or something! Okay, obviously the game doesn't like me talking about Wookiees, but that's that's understandable. Wookiees are awesome. And uh, this, when this bridge is out, if you get a running jump, you can jump it to save time if you're, you know, not doing too well on time. Now, this room up here, if you are anything but a heavy trooper, I recommend right now you switch to a heavy trooper for the next two parts of this mission. Because it's much easier as a heavy, a heavy trooper. And I swear, this this first run went much easier. Just stay up here and, you know, shoot this. But the first run I did of this was much smoother. I mean, I made it look awesome. I guess that's a less play curse, though. And uh, three rockets, and I think a grenade. Oh, no, I guess just three rockets and two rockets and two grenades, or three rockets will take that out. Once the shuttle's done, the rebels have no chance of escaping. <gasps> Gasp! A Jedi! Let's get him. I need to add him to my kill count. Now, he will rush you, so the easiest thing I recommend doing is just sitting up back here, placing a landmine right there. Hopefully no other AI members of the other opposing faction get on it. No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Okay, and then the Jedi walks on it, and it's an instant kill on Jedi's. Really good if you're having trouble both online and in-game. Just set a mine down and forget. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Lord Vader will be most pleased. Because I can jump off a 30-foot <laughs> drop, and I'm okay. I'm okay. After the embarrassment of the prison break... Lord Vader removed us from our comfortable billet and began dragging the 501st across the galaxy in a dangerous hunt for the now missing Death Star plans. Ironically, our punishment eventually proved to be our salvation. The poor souls who took our place in the detention area were completely wiped out when the Death Star was destroyed. <whistles> Lucky break there. <laughs> That's how I like it again, how they tied in with the story, and it's, again, like a little bit of humor, just like, poor bastards. Thank God it wasn't us. So, in the next episode, we're going to be continuing to fight the Rebels. They're going to be our only, I think our only, uh, op opposing faction for the uh, rest of the game, which is, follows the story, and, uh, I think Rebels are considerably harder than anything we fought before. I don't know why. I'll probably talk about it next time when we go to Polis Masa, which is just a station on a rock floating in space. Never really understood it. But I guess we'll talk about that next time. So I thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And until then, later.